Good morning, student. In this moment, um, I'm going to show you, I want to teach you how to solve the polynomial inequality. You received uh, in Microsoft Team how the video, how to do this exercise. Because I was checking some of the exercise you did and you sent it to me, and I want to create this video to give you the best method the, the correct way to solve this kind of the exercise. Please, I need that you follow my orientations. Now, I'm gonna sh show you how to do, and maybe today and tomorrow, you receive uh, four exercise only. How to do this one, and you need to do in the exercise using my orientations to solve the polynomial inequality. Okay, I have this polynomial, the second grade, is x squared plus 3x minus 4. Number one, to find the factors, that's the first important thing. I need to do the factorization of the polynomials to find the answer of this exercise. If you don't do the factorization, you cannot find the solution. Now, number one, because this is a quadratic equation, I need to find, it's very simple, two numbers. You write here x plus, you multiply plus 10 negative is negative x. And I need two numbers. When I multiply the number is, when I, multi let me, when I multiply the number is negative 4, and when you add the number is 3. When you add the number is 3, now you got it here. 4 and a 1. And you have here negative 4. Now, when you multiply 4 times negative 1, you have negative 4. And when you have 4 minus 1, you get a 3. And now you do the factorizations. When I have these factorizations, it's very important. You create this line. Now, this line here. What line is this? What, what's mean this line? You plug in on the line what is the zeros of the polynomial. Now, this factor is 0 when x is negative 4. And now you write here, negative 4. Negative 4. And because you have here equal sign, you include negative 4. And at another point, when this factor is 0, when x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and now he's going to be 1. And you close because you have the equal sign here, equal 0. Okay, now I have this negative infinite to 4 close. I got 4 to 1, this is the interval, and I have here 1 to positive infinite. This is the interval I'm going to use to find the solution. Now, you create this table I'm going to do never now, pay attention. Now, you have this. Create on the on the column you write the corresponding factor x plus four, and another column is x minus one, and I create now three rows. The first row is negative infinity to four. The another is is four to one. Another is one. To positive infinite. One to positive infinite. When you created this table, you select any numbers between this interval. For example, between negative four, negative infinite to four, maybe you can select this is, I'm sorry, this is a mistake here. It's negative four here. Negative four. Negative four and negative four. Yeah. This is negative 4, this is 0 when it's negative 4, and I have ne negative 4 to 1, and then 1, yes. Now, select any numbers less than negative 4. You can select, for example, negative 5, you can select negative 5, uh, between 4 and 1, between negative 4, between negative 4 and 1, you can select 0, and greater than 1, maybe you select 2, whatever. These numbers below to this interval. Now I select one number between negative infinite to negative four, I select negative five. 
One number between negative four and one, I select zero. You can select whatever you want, but I select zero. And if greater than one, I select two. And now I'm going to evaluate each factors. You say negative five is this one. Negative five plus one is negative one. This is negative. And now zero, zero plus four is positive. Four is positive. And two plus four is six is positive. And you do the same thing with another factor. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Now, negative 4, negative 0, minus 1 is negative 2. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And 2 minus 1 is positive. And the final column, I have my answer. In the final column, I have the answer. When you multiply now, Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. And the positive times positive is positive. And the solution I need to write now is greater than equal zero. Now, what is the, what is the interval when the polynomial is positive is in this row and in this row? How would I write the solution? You write, the solution is x below 2 you say, from negative infinity to negative 4, and you include 4 because it can be 0. This is the first interval. And another interval is this. You use union. And now I'm going to write 1 to positive infinity. And you have the solution. Graphically, I need to see the graph. You write here, negative 4. And you write here 1, and now your solution is like this, and the solution is like this. From negative to negative 4, and from 1 to positive infinite. That's a way to find the answer of this problem when you're going to solve inequality polynomial. Okay? When you find the polynomials inequality. An equation, please, I created for you a group. In WhatsApp, and I send using Microsoft Team, I send the link to join with the group in WhatsApp. Any question that you have, it, you can contact with me for this group using the group of WhatsApp, and I am be ready to give you the answer of any questions. Okay? I'm gonna do another example, more complicated than this. If you have a question, please be free to connect to me using. WhatsApp group. I'm going to erase the board now to do another exercise. Next problem is next problem is x to the third plus 4x squared minus 4x minus 16 less than 0. Less than 0. Remember, the first step, the first step is find the factors. Again, yeah? find the factor. Now, I need to represent this polynomial like this, x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. Three factors because the degree is three. And you remember, the polynomial with degree three has three zero. Then I need to represent my polynomial in factorization form to create a table similar to the first exercise and find the solution. What I had to do to find the factors? You select this number, 16, and you find what is the factor of 16. The factor of 16 is positive and negative 1, positive and negative 2, positive and negative 4, positive and negative 8, and a positive and negative 16. That's the number you can use to divide 16. This is a factor of 16. 1 times 16 is 16. 
2 times a is 16, 4 times 4 is 16, a times 2 is 16, and 16 times 1 is 16. This is the factor of 16. And you see synthetic division, I got it long, I don't know how many weeks you study this, but today I'm gonna do the review. Using synthetic division and using this factor, you can do the factorization of the polynomial. Number one, I'm gonna write the coefficients of the polynomial. The coefficient of the polynomial here is one, and here is four, and a negative four, and negative 16. This is the coefficients of the polynomial. Okay, and now I'm going to use the factors until one of them is zero of the polynomial. What I find that some of them is zero of the polynomial, I find A, and you continue to do it until find A, B, and C. For example, I'm gonna use now negative two. I wanna use negative two. Okay, remember you move one down, and negative two times one is negative two, and what you add here is two, okay? And two times negative two is negative four, and when you add this, it's negative A, and when you multiply here, it's 16, and now it's gonna be zero. Then, one, negative two is one factor. Now, A is negative two. Then my first factor is X, Plus two. Remember, because it's negative, and a negative with this negative is going to be plus two. We continue for another find another factor. You can use whatever you want of this list. I'm going to use negative two, and I find this. I'm going to use another one. For example, negative four. One. Negative four times one is negative four. When you add is negative two. Negative 2 times negative 2 is A, and what you add here is 0 again. Now, negative 4 is another 0. Now, I write here X plus 4, remember? Because it's negative, with this negative, it's going to change to positive. And finally, it's this polynomial degree 3, and this polynomial degree 2, and this polynomial degree 1. Now, you have X equal negative 2, and this is another 0. And now here is x plus 2. Now I factor in my polynomials. I do the factorization of my polynomials. Now I have three factors. And I'm doing create a table similar to the table of the first exercise to find the final solution. Now, when you create the line here, I have, I have here. This is, I'm sorry, this is two positive because the equation here is x minus two equals zero, x minus two equals zero, and when you solve here is x equal two. Now here is x minus two. Then I have three zeros. The first zero is four because you don't have equal sign is open, open negative four, Open negative 2 and open 2. Now I have now to create my table negative infinity to negative 4 open. The first line. Let me read this. I'm moving back. This. I have x plus 2, x plus 4, x minus 2, and the final answer. Now, you get it here, create the interval. The first interval is negative infinity to, to negative four. Open. Negative four to negative two. Negative two to two. And a two to positive infinity. Now, I'm gonna close here. Make it the table, and I close this to the table, and this is my final answer. I select now one number, one number now less than negative four. You can use negative five, negative six, negative whatever, but it had to be less than negative four. And you get here negative, negative five, I use negative five. Negative five plus two is negative three is negative. Continue with negative five. 
negative 5 plus 1 is negative 1 is negative. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7 is negative. Next now, ne between negative 4 and negative 2, negative 3, for example. And a negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 is negative. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1 is positive. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 is negative. We continue now. Between negative 2 and 2, I can say it's 0. Between negative 2, I use 0. 0 plus 2 is positive. 0 plus 4 is positive. 0 minus 2 is negative. And another number greater than 2. Greater than 2. 3. 3 plus 2 is positive. 3 plus 4 is positive. And 3 minus 2 is positive. And when you multiply the signs, negative times negative times negative is going to be negative. Negative times positive is negative times negative is positive. Okay? And now, positive times positive is positive times negative is negative. And a positive time positive time positive is positive. I come back to my question. I need to find the solution when the polynomial is less than zero. The polynomial is less than zero. Here, here in this, in this row is less than zero. In this row is less than zero. Okay? Then, when I'm going to write the solution, I'm going to write the solution here. Here, my solution is x is a, is negative infinite to negative 4 union negative 2 to 2. That's the solution. Negative infinite to negative 4 union with negative 2 and 2. This is my solution. And graphically, you write this one. You have this negative 4 is open and negative 2 is open and 2 is open. And the solution is, this is the solution, and this is my other solution. Now, in this one, you grab the solution like this. This is the solution of my problems. Okay? With this exercise, I finish uh, this short video and to show you how to do the exercise when you need to solve polynomial inequality. I'm going to send to you four more problems, but I need that you find the solution using this methodology, using this step. I want to see in your work that you do the exercise like this. Some of you send me the exercise and they have a lot of mistake. Okay? I do not consider this one. Okay? I'm going to start again. Show, watch this video. I'm gonna send today and the afternoon um, at night. I'm gonna send four or five exercises. Uh, you do in the exercise and send me to me. Take a picture. Send me to me, please. I need that you the the word you send me to to be to be very clear because I need to evaluate your work. Okay. Have a good time. Maybe I, I don't know when I see you again, but uh, I hope that you are having a good time and a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Remember again, if you have any question, join the WhatsApp group and I have any answer to you. Thank you very much to watch this video. Bye-bye. See you. Mr. DNS for you. Thank you very much.